I'm here a week, so <laughs> we're going to try. Farron, thank Glad you. Glad to have you. Appreciate it. All right, so joining us more now with discussion on, uh, on the election, what it means for Iran, the Middle East, and relations, of course, with the United States and the future of the JCPOA, we bring in our guest panel. John Jordan is a former naval intelligence officer uh, and well-known, always on the show. Good friend of mine. John, good to see you. And Dr. Mohammed Mirandi is a professor of English literature and Orientalism at the University of Tehran. Uh, gentlemen, welcome to you both. Uh, Dr. Mirandi, I want to start with you. Uh, there's a little bit of a delay, um, but uh, I want to start you. with you since you're over there. I want to get your thoughts about the election. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of obviously criticism, a lot of concerns. Uh, you talked, uh, you probably heard me. I talked about the criticism coming out of Israel, concerns being raised here in the United States. What's your take on the election? Is is Raisi? Do you think he'll he'll be willing to to sit down, or at least his nego his people, his you know negotiators, and talk with the U.S.? Is is this a bad thing or? A good thing. Uh, what's what's the overall tone there uh, there in, in in Iran right now? Well, I I think the major issue is that uh, President Raisi or President Elect Raisi is not planning on appeasing the United States. That is the problem. That's why he's called a hard hardliner. Mm -hmm. The Iranians did a deal with the United States and the P5 plus one. It was called the JCPOA. And now the Americans uh, want to retain some of the sanctions that have been put in place after the deal was signed, yet have the Iranians implement the deal in full. And Mr. Raisi is saying, no, that's, that's nonsense. We're, we're not going to do that. We've already had a deal. You buy, abide by your commitments, and we abide by our commitments. Many people in the United States may not like the deal, but many people in Iran don't like the deal. But a deal's a deal. So since he's steadfast in that regard, the Americans, you know, want to call him a hardliner. But I think it's a very rational and reasonable position. Uh, he has been he's has been very consistent in this regard and if the americans are sincere about wanting better relations the way forward is for the americans to implement the deal in full it's it's very simple john i want to bring you in um what do you think about that would you agree with dr Morandi? um what's your take uh I see it a little differently. Um, the Iranian economy has been in free fall. It has been devastated by the reimposition of sanctions substituted U.S. withdrawal from the JCPOA. Um, there's, and there's been the resulting political pressures inside of Iran. As a result, the mullahs, uh, not President Raisi, who really run the show there, they need a win. They need to show that they prevailed, um, that they didn't knuckle under. And Joe Biden is more than happy to oblige them with the likes of John Kerry um, going back to Tehran. Iran and the Europeans, very much like the little orphan Oliver, saying, please let us into the JCPOA again, even though it was a terrible deal for the West. It did nothing to curtail Iran's ballistic missile programs. It did nothing to curtail Iran's uh, malign uh, uh, efforts throughout the Middle East, I mean, you know, Syria, Iraq, um, and, and Yemen, for example, did uh, not to mention uh, the Gaza and the West Bank, did nothing to curtail that. So, what, so uh, Joe Biden is going to give them more or less what they want, and there's no no reason for the Iranians to give an inch here, because the Joe Biden and the Europeans, who are so mercantile, they just want the resumption of trade and the cessation of, of, of sanctions, that they'll do anything. And Joe Biden and John Kerry want validation, because anything that Trump did, they're going to do the opposite, whether it makes sense or not. So the Iranians are going to have their way with the West here again. That's going to be humiliating. Dr. Miranda, I'm going to give you the last word. we got about a minute left. you agree? Well, what your guest is basically saying is that the United States is committing crimes against humanity by targeting women and children in Iran through these oh, despicable God. sanctions, just as what, just like what they're doing in Venezuela and Syria and elsewhere. And in it, and what do they want in return? They want Iran to give up its defense capabilities, whereas the United States has surrounded Iran with military bases. It wants Iran not to be able to protect itself when the United States has murdered senior Iranian generals. It wants Iran not to fight against ISIS and al-Qaeda, which the United States helped create. We know that the uh, defense, uh, the, uh, that Jake Sullivan, who is a national security advisor for Biden, in, on, in February 2012, said that al-Qaeda is on our side in Syria. So whose behavior in the region is malign, Iran or the United States? 
Who is helping with the Saudis to destroy Yemen? Who destroyed Libya? Who destroyed Syria through, through a dirty war? It's not Iran. It's the United States. Well, Iran will not give up its defense capabilities Dr. when the United States is constantly saying all options are on the table. Listen, guys, we are out of time. I know, John, you want to jump in. John, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you 15 seconds. We are really out of time. I'm, I'm getting a hard wrap, but, John, I'm going to let you jump in. <laughs> Everybody in the Middle East recognizes Iran's the, the threat that Iran poses to peace in the region. That is why you see the Gulf states, Saudi Arabia, almost everyone engaging in a rapprochement with Israel because everybody sees what's going on with Iran and Iran's intent in the region. The dictatorships. Uh, okay, guys, we got to end it there. I, I wish I could keep you on longer. Maybe we'll we'll come back tomorrow <laughs> to think this a little more, uh, gentlemen. I, I, gentlemen, I'll I, be there. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you.